Could have been. But me, you're me, Louis T. Welcome to the command post. You know what it is. Post up. Take command. I, of course, you're commander in chief, Louis T. Thank you for joining me. So this is going to be a really quick video because I've done this before. I've asked you this question before, but this is the last call. Last call for alcohol. This is the last call for Lamar Jackson. The Ravens officially made him available today by slapping the non-exclusive franchise tag on him, meaning that any team can negotiate with Lamar Jackson, put a deal on the table. Lamar Jackson can sign and agree in principle. The Ravens then have an opportunity to match that deal, okay? So they have the right of first refusal so they can match whatever deal he signs and he'll be a Baltimore Raven. If the Ravens say that's too much money for us, we can't afford that, he's gone. Now, here's the thing. If you sign Lamar Jackson to an offer sheet, and the Ravens refuse to match it, you have to surrender two first round picks, okay? And you have to pay Lamar Jackson whatever it is, that contract that you put in front of him. But the, the, the biggest thing here is that you know the price, what it's going to cost to get him. Now, how much it's going to cost to sign him is totally different than what it's going to cost to pry him away from Baltimore. One of the biggest deterrents with Lamar Jackson is you're trading for a superstar player. There's no equal value when you're trading for a superstar player. Thus, there's going to be a lot of damage, collateral damage, that's done in order to retrieve the player that you're after, i.e. what the Denver Broncos had to give up to get Russell Wilson. Lamar Jackson's way younger, a lot more good football. Prime of his career is in front of him, okay? Totally different set of circumstances, but similar in the sense that you were trading for a superstar quarterback, all right? They gave up a ton to get Russell Wilson, okay? They gave up a ton. You're not going to have to do that for Lamar Jackson. You know what you have to give up. It's just two first-round picks. You don't have to give up a second, which the uh, Broncos had to do in that trade with Russell Wilson. You don't have to give up any players, which the Broncos had to do in that trade for Russell Wilson. You don't have to give up any of that stuff. It's just two first-round picks. You know exactly what you're giving up. Look, as a long-suffering Washington Commanders fan, and probably many of you can attest to this, as you're probably in the same boat as I am, you'd trade two first-round picks in a heartbeat to fix the quarterback position, right? I think anybody would say that. Now, for those of you who don't want Lamar Jackson, you're not looking to give up two first-round picks. So I'm going to ask the question very simple. Simply, are you interested in Lamar Jackson now that the Ravens have slapped him with the non-exclusive franchise tag? All you have to do is put a boatload of money in front of Lamar Jackson with a bunch of guarantees, get him to sign on the dotted line, have the Ravens refuse to match the offer that you put in front of Lamar Jackson, fork over two first-round picks, and he's all yours. Are you interested? Yes or no? It's really simple. When you had to trade for him and you had to give up stuff, you didn't know how much damage was going to be done. Were you going to have to throw in two players? Were you going to have to throw in a second and a fourth along with two ones? You didn't know what the situation was going to be. Now you know. It's two ones. That's it. Yeah, it's going to cost a pretty penny. But then you've solved the biggest position in football. One that you haven't been able to solve if you're a Washington Commanders fan for over three decades. My answer isn't important here. I want yours. Down in the comment section. Last call. This is it. Last call for Lamar Jackson. Either you're interested or you're not. If you're not willing to go after him now, chances are you're never going to get your hands on him. He could be a free agent next year or the year after that. The likelihood is if he is available, which he is now, okay, Someone's going to sign him. Someone's going to put a contract in front of him. 
Guys like Lamar Jackson don't become available. We talk about this all the time. We've seen quarterbacks change teams each of the last three off seasons, right? Make it four now with Derek Carr moving from Vegas to the Saints. We've seen big time quarterbacks change teams each of the last four seasons. But guess what? In each of those situations, you're talking about veteran quarterbacks past their prime. And while you can say, yeah, Brady still won a Super Bowl and he was still playing at a very high level, it wasn't 10 years left to Tom Brady. It wasn't seven or eight years left to Tom Brady, back end of his career. Matthew Stafford, same thing. You're past prime Matthew Stafford. His body is breaking down on him. The Rams are finding that out right now. Prime Matthew Stafford is come and gone. Russell Wilson. The Seahawks wanted out of the Russ, Russ business two, three years ago. And the Broncos may be finding out that Prime Russ left the building three, four years ago. And you're getting leftovers, sloppy leftovers. And the Saints are getting Derek Carr. And they're, they're still good football. Plenty of good football left in, in Derek Carr. He's probably the youngest of all the quarterbacks that we've seen change teams the last uh, three years, he's the youngest. Lamar's way younger than that. Lamar's got every bit, again, health, assuming health, and we can't do that, but assuming health, there's eight, nine, maybe even 10 years of quality Lamar Jackson football left. And at least five as a runner, bare minimum. Are you interested? Prime of the career. Leave it down in the comment section. He's available. This is as available as it gets because the Ravens aren't going to just let him walk. Trust me. He will not be on the free agent market a year or two from now and the Ravens just get a third round compensatory pick. They're going to trade him if someone doesn't slide a deal in front of Lamar that he can't refuse, which I think a team is going to do. Would you like it to be your favorite team, the Washington Commanders? That's going to do it for me, your man Louis T, here on the command post. You know what it is. Post up. Take command. I cannot wait to read your responses. We'll talk about this and so many other topics on Thursday night when we'll be live for the command post. Look forward to reading your responses. Should be spicy. You guys. Have a good one. Louis T. Network.